a medieval style gatehouse with towers and walls. In part one of this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the tower and the walls. Let's start with the defensive towers. These can be built as part of the gatehouse but they can also be built as individual towers along a wall. The basic tower is nine by nine blocks and to build it you will need these items. I'm not giving you quantities because I don't know how many of them you want to build and frankly I haven't counted. It's a lot. <laughs> so stone bricks, cobblestone blocks, some raw andesite for texturing the cobblestone, stone brick stairs, stone brick slabs, cobblestone slabs, cobblestone walls, cobblestone stairs, dark oak slabs, dark oak planks, spruce trap doors, torches, ladders and three spruce doors. So let's get started. The two sides are identical to each other, the front and the back are similar to each other. So we're going to start at the back. At one corner, one, two, three stone brick blocks, leave a gap, put one in the middle and then one, two, three. Do the same at the front and then just fill in the sides. Right now we're going to make the feet of the tower. So stone brick stair, come around one at 90 degrees and then one at the corner, one, two, another at 90 degrees but facing the opposite direction and a stone brick block. Repeat the same at this corner. You should end up with that. Now copy that over to this side. Right, replace the yellow wool with whatever your floor is going to be in here. Now while I'm building in creative as much as possible I'm going to build this as if I was in survival. So on the back wall we're going to leave this one at the corner and we're going to put another row of stone brick blocks. Now we're going to repeat that row again And in the spaces we're going to put upside down stone brick stairs like that. Come to the inside and place two spruce doors so that the handles are facing inwards. Now repeat that on the front except for the doors. There we go. So where we have doors there we're instead going to put a right way up stone brick stair and stone brick box in the holes. Now for the sides, one, two, three, leave a gap, one, two, three. Build that up one more high. Come to the inside, fill in the floor with the block of your choice. For the sake of this tutorial I've just used cobble. Now either side of the doors, columns of stone brick blocks on the front wall, do the same thing, fill in this gap with cobblestone wall. On the outside inner corner we are placing top half cobblestone slab and on top of that a cobblestone wall. Do that in each of the four corners. While we now have scaffolding we could easily build this whole tower all the way up on the outside but I have found from a survival perspective that it is actually simpler to put in the floors as we go. So pick one of these two alcoves to be where your ladders are going. Three ladders and now we're building a walkway floor out of dark oak slabs so it's two blocks wide all the way around. Come up to the next floor. Now the first thing we're going to do is build up our corners so cobblestone wall 
and on the back wall, which is where our ladder is, in the middle, one, two stone brick blocks, two more here, and two more here. Grab your stone brick stairs, and in the gaps, place right way upstairs so that you form little squares facing into this stone brick column in the middle. Do the same on the front. Continue these stone columns. Place two ladders on them. And now for the sides. In the middle, two cobblestone walls and just build up the sides to a height of two more. Come up to the top of the wall at the front or the back, either way. One, two. Now, three stone brick stairs and one, two. It should look like that. Repeat that on the opposite wall. For the sides, just run stone brick stairs all the way along. And don't forget to add cobblestone wall in the corner. Increase the height of the stone brick pillars. On the outside, starting with either the front or the back, it doesn't make any difference. One, two, three, four, and up on the fifth, a right way up cobblestone stair. One in the middle and one on the other side. Now run cobblestone wall all the way to the ground underneath those stairs. Repeat that on the opposite side. Back on the inside with upside down stone brick stairs, run a line right round the outside and now fill in the rest of the floor with dark oak slabs. Remember to leave a gap where your ladder is and put a trap door at the top of the ladder. You may want to add torches as you go so you don't get any nasty surprises when you come back down. Floor the next. Cobblestone walls in the corner. And add stone brick blocks next to the cobblestone walls. Next to each column of stone bricks, one right way up stone brick stair. Now we're going to build up our inner walls. So with cobblestone. On the front, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the back, one, two, one, two. Leave this gap of three in the middle. On the sides, one, two, leave a gap in the middle, one, two. Coming back around to the front, we're going to put one, two cobblestone blocks in the corners, build them up one higher. In the middle, two stone brick. And we're going to make arrow loopholes facing inwards by using stone brick stairs. Build up the sides another two blocks. and build up the sides at the back. In these gaps on the sides, upside down stone brick stair. And then place a spruce door in each of the doorways. On this big opening at the back, upside down stone brick stair, upside down stone brick stair. Come to where your trap door is, run ladders up. Now we're going to build up our corners again like we did last time. And we're going to run a row of cobble right the way around the entire frame of the tower. Fill in the floor again with dark oak slabs, leaving a space for the ladder. At the front, run a row of cobble right the way along. At the back, one, two, and one, two and at the sides leave a gap in the middle again. While we're here let's build up our corners again. 
And now we're more or less going to repeat what we did on the floor below. So at the front we have arrow loops. At the back we've got an open arch. And at the sides, instead of putting an upside down stair here, we're just going to fill it in with cobble. Remember to pop torches in. No doors in this, it's just an open doorway. And if you want to go through and texture this with random andesite blocks, go for it. On the back wall, ladder all the way up to the top. Okay, on each corner, we are going to put a bottom half cobblestone slab. And we're going to put stone brick blocks. And on each of those, an upside down stone brick stair. And now run a row of cobble right the way around the top of the wall. On top of each slab, one cobblestone block. And on top of the stone brick, a row of stone brick. Now fill in the floor with dark oak planks. Again, leave a space for your ladder. Now run cobblestone wall right the way around the outside. And starting at a corner, stone brick slabs on every second piece of wall. In between each of those, a piece of cobblestone wall and top each with a torch. Now cover the entire dark oak floor with stone brick slabs. This has two purposes. One, it spawn proofs it. Two, it ensures you can see over the battlements. Couple last things. Trap door. If you're worried about not seeing through the arrow loopholes, row of slabs, same on the next floor down. There we can see out quite nicely. Add any torches that you missed. And that's the tower done. That's the front, the sides and the back. If you're wondering why there are these gaping holes, a lot of towers didn't have backs to them in order to make it quick and easy to get supplies in and also so that if the tower was taken by the enemy it afforded them little protection from any defenders who were still inside the castle. Let's add a quick wall to this. If you've got lots and lots of spare cobble and stone from mining this is a great wall for you. The core of the wall is cobble and it is five blocks high so one, two, three, four, five. Extend that as long as you want to make your wall. Right, we're going to begin by putting a row of stone brick blocks right the way along the base of the wall. Do the same on the other side. Now the wall is modular, let's start working on a module. Leave a gap of one, one, two, three, four stone brick blocks. Repeat that all the way along. Gap of one, one, two, three, four. For the next row, stone brick blocks either end right way up stone brick stairs and on top of that stone brick blocks and upside down stone brick stairs. Now stone brick stairs at either end facing inwards to each other and dark oak fence in between. Repeat that on the other side and now top the whole wall with stone brick blocks. That's the basic structure, let's pretty it up a bit. Along the bottom, in row with our right way up and upside down stairs, two stone brick stairs. At this gap, a stone brick stair. Repeat that all the way along. Now level with these right way up stone brick stairs, we're going to put one, two cobblestone stairs. Going to do that on each unit and run cobblestone walls underneath them all the way to the ground. Now above each gap place an upside down stone brick stair and two above 
each area with a fence. Fill the gaps between with cobble wall and fill the spaces here with cobble wall. And this space here above the stone brick stair, one cobble wall and top it with a torch. Now come up to the walkway, we're going to place upside down stone brick stairs. So place one, crouch to come out, get rid of it and run it all the way along the wall. There we are. And the cobble walls for machicolations which you can pour or you can drop things down on your enemies, pour water down if they're trying to set fire to things, fire through it. Right next on top of this every second stair has got a cobble wall on it. In between each of those there's a dark oak fence and the whole thing is topped with stone brick slabs. Next we've got two doors here we're going to build a walkway that goes up to that one. So come out from the wall leave a space one block same here then leave one, two, three, four, and put a block. Now build these up to a total height of five. So one, two, three, four, five. Stone brick slabs to build a floor, three blocks wide, level with this doorway. On top of each of these blocks, we're going to put one, two, three cobblestone wall. Now you top the entire thing with bottom half dark oak slabs, three blocks wide. And on the outside, we're going to put right way up dark oak stairs. Now lighting. You can put torches along like this or, because we've now got them, lanterns. I'm going with lanterns. Down here I think torches are the way to go. And that's the wall unit. I'm going to build another tower 16 blocks apart from this one. So starting here as one, 16 clear blocks and then another tower and another piece of wall. And then we're going to get on to the gate and the gatehouse in part two.